Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my review for Fast and Furious 6, aka Furious 6, aka Fast 6, aka another goddamn Fast and Furious film. So, I was actually, with me saying that, I was actually a fan of the last film. I thought it was actually a lot of fun and I was actually looking forward to this because this one looked like a lot of fun too. I hate the first four movies. I hate them with a passion. First one is tolerable. Second one is horrible, but it's funny because it's so bad. Third one is just intolerable to me. And the fourth one is just absolute trash, in my opinion. They have some cool sequences, but I'm not a big fan of the series. Last movie just went balls to the wall, and it was so much fun. And I actually started liking the characters. What did I think of this film? Well, it's directed by the same guy, and it's been getting good reviews. So, hey, I could I could like this, or I could hate it, I don't know. Let's talk about the story, which, to be honest, this doesn't even matter, but let's talk about the story. Alright, so the story for Fast and Furious 6 is both incredibly dumb, but very simple. Story follows the old gang, as they're back together once again. You got Dom, played by Vin Diesel. You got Brian, played by uh, Paul Walker. You got Mia, Dom's sister, and Brian's wife, played by Jordana Brewster. You got Tyrese Gibson. You got Ludacris. Dwayne Johnson shows up once again as Hobbs, the guy that was after the gang in the last movie, but now is teamed up with them. You got a bunch of people that are returning, and some new fresh faces. And the story here follows Dom in the beginning as he gets a visit from Hobbs, Dwayne Johnson's character, and tells him straight up, we have a new criminal out there that thinks he could just go and steal everything and, you know, kill our women or something. I don't know. I was. It doesn't matter. He's an evil dude. Um, his name is Shaw, played by Luke Evans, and we need you to stop him because you guys are race car drivers, he's a race car driver, you have to go and chase him down and stuff, whatever. We can't do it because we're, we're, we're dumb FBI and freaking CIA and all that. We can't do that. You gotta do it because you're illegal street racers that can jump from car to car and not get injured at all. And of course he's like, no, I ain't gonna do it. But then, of course, Hobbs is all like, here, I got pictures. And <laughs> Vin Diesel's character is all like, Letty, I thought she died in your fourth movie. That's right, Letty's back in this film and presumably dead uh, in the fourth film. She's back in this one. And of course, Letty is uh, Dom's former girlfriend. Or, well, ex-girlfriend. But the presumably dead girlfriend and of course he's like alright I need to get the gang back together and let's go after this son of a bitch and everybody's like oh man we're family we have to go get Letty back even though she might be brain controlled by this dude gotta stop him gotta blow some stuff up and drive sexy ass cars now do I need to tell you the story is dumb Oh, I do? Well, the story is incredibly dumb, but what I really like about the story is that it knows it's dumb. It just, Vin Diesel, all these characters do just ridiculous, over-the-top things, but sometimes they actually bring it down and have conversations and actually talk to one another, and I actually appreciate some of that stuff. That's what I liked about Fast Five. There's plenty of times where, you know, Dom and Brian or whatever the other characters get to say something funny or kind of, you know, emotional or something, and you know what? I like those moments, and it's, I mean, it's not well written. It's okay. It's passable, but I kind of like that the movie does stop from all the boo 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 car breaking, airplanes exploding, freaking tanks running over innocent people and killing them, uh, just a anything. You know, it just brings it down and I do like that, but for the most part the story is incredibly dumb, it's so just ridiculous, over the top, uh, the acting for the most part, all, just all around is good, just not that great. Standouts being probably Dwayne Johnson, who I think is better in this role than he was in the last film, because he has more stuff to do, and he, I don't know, I, I just felt like he was a little bit more badass in this role than he was in the last film. And another standout, I would actually say is Michelle Rodriguez, who I thought was, eh, in the other films. This one I actually really liked her in. Maybe it's because she's getting better as an actress, or maybe it's because her whole character is brainwashed, so she's not like that shitty character like she was before, which I hated. But I liked her. I don't know. And, I mean, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, everybody in the roles, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, everybody does a decent job. Luke Evans as the villain, not bad. Okay, I like Luke Evans, so I'm glad he's actually getting bigger roles. And he's, you know, he's okay in the role, but everything is still very generic, and the acting itself does not elevate the characters too much, but they're likable enough. <laughs> I'm making this confusing, all right? Let me just simplify it. The story itself, dumb, fun, has some moments where I actually liked them talking, and the acting is okay, even though the characters themselves are generic, even though I did like them. 
I'm making this way more confusing than I should. Let's just go on to the next part. <laughs> which will be, of course, the main attraction, which is all the cars and explosions and the racing and, and the car chases and whatnot, all the big action scenes and the CG. And let me tell you right now, they use a lot of practical stuff. You can tell when tanks are running over cars, you see just debris fly everywhere and it looks incredibly real. And if it's not an actual real car, then it's some damn good CG. And if it is a real car, whoever was driving that is most likely dead. Hopefully there was nobody in those cars. Hopefully Justin Lin, the guy that directed this, isn't a sociopath because those people are most likely dead. So rest in peace if you're dead. If you were even in that car. But um, a lot of shit blows up. A lot of really awesome car sequences. Uh, some really cool racing sequences. Even though I'm not a big fan of car chases. And that's my main problem with the last, uh, well, the first few movies. I just didn't really care for the car chases and the car racing itself. I thought it got really monotonous, very boring. It's always like, oh, someone's about to lose. Nitrous, oh, okay, Deus Ex Machina Nitrous, great. And then they win. It's always never suspenseful. Here... I like that they stay away from more of the car chases and go, I mean, car races and go for more car chases where shit's blowing up all the time. I thought that was at least fun. I thought it was well paced, very well shot. I knew what's going on, what was going on. And there's a lot of fist fighting in this uh, movie. There's a whole scene with Michelle Rodriguez's character and Gina Carano's character, who is a, a former MMA fighter, who I thought was really good in this film as a fighter, not really an actor. She, she was okay. But um, <laughs> that fight was awesome really good. Um, there's also a couple other fight scenes, one later on where, where Vin Diesel and Dwayne DeRock Johnson has to fight the bad guy and the henchman, and it was so awesome to see that. I thought this movie had plenty of great action, great CG when they had to use CG, and great practical effects, especially all the cars getting blown up. I mean, this is a silly movie. People, if this was real, most likely 30 or 40, maybe 50,000 people would have been dead. Okay, not that many, but a lot of people would have died in this because tanks are running shit over and just everything's blowing up. There's no way that people weren't going to die, like innocent people. But you know what? It's a movie. It's fun. Boom, boom, boom. Some fun dialogue, some funny scenes. Tyrese Gibson's pretty funny in this movie. I'm going to give him that. So, yeah, I enjoyed Fast and Furious 6 or Furious 6, whatever it's called. Oh, what would I give it? I would give it a 34 out of a 40. I really enjoyed this film. Even though it is dumb and the script itself isn't great, it is fun blockbuster fare. Definitely go check this film out. There you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.